Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 5 starts now. Good evening. You can hop on an ATV in towns like Pine Lake, Crescent, and Pelican. Get almost anywhere you need to go. In Rhinelander itself, you're out of luck. However, that rule might change. News Watch Girls Angela Kim joins us live at the Triggs parking lot in Rhinelander with more on those possible changes. Angela, good evening. Lane, good evening. This is one spot that a man in Oneida County with the ATV Association Club wants ATVs to be able to get to. Right in here, it could fit two ATVs or one T A T UTV, excuse me. But that depends on if Rhinelander will let them in the city at all. John Knudsen knows his way around an ATV. I've uh, been ATVing for nine years. But he has always needed to go around Rhinelander. It's not legal to ride on city streets. Well, an ideal day, of course, would be uh, starting at 3, 4 in the afternoon, going to a place to have a, a drink or a, a supper, you know, mm -hmm. barbecue, something like that, and then coming back in the evening. Wait. Knudsen hopes that this drink or supper will be right in downtown Rhinelander. And according to Mayor Chris Fredrickson, that's being considered. So we're just collecting information from all over. The city is using the information to research the pros. They see it as a benefit to the economy. They see it as a benefit to the, to the people that live here. And the cons. Cons, obviously, there's still noise and there's safety issues. And I'm going to say 90% of the people that come to our county to ATV say, why can I not get into Rhinelander to get gas? One business owner agrees it would help business. Diane Pilot owns Best Embroideries on Davenport Street. It would bring people into our shops, our gas stations, our grocery store, um, our bars and restaurants. She says other businesses have been pushing for this as well. Anytime you can get extra people, more people downtown, it helps all of us. Well, I'd be ecstatic because it would help a bunch and being out on the trails when somebody out there asks and say, uh, where do I go to get gas or where's a good place to eat? Uh, you can send them to Rhinelander. Now, I asked Fredrickson when he thinks that a decision will be made by, and he says he's not sure. He's meeting tomorrow with City Administrator Daniel Guild to look over all the information that these ATV organizations are sending in. In Rhinelander, Angela Kim, Newswatch 12.